Hey folks, Red Specs Gaming here, and welcome back to Minecraft Eternal. Uh, in this episode, we're going to step back into steel production and how to do it with uh, IE2, because I don't know if it's a recent change or not, but it seems like you can't make um, steel in this uh, smeltery anymore. So that recipe no longer seemed to work. Um, so we're going to go back to setting up our coke and our blast ovens the right way and getting them placed how... Uh, how we can get the best and the most steel out of those as we go. So sit back, relax, and let's get started. Okay, so now that we got power handled, you'll see that I am gaining, what, like 500 RF per tick? It's roughly somewhere three to 500. So our energy is really climbing here. We've got 96 million RF right now in the tank. And I moved the tank and the controller up here. Um, I also added twice the amount of uh, oil generators down there to feed into this. Because what I'm finding is that this spawner specifically, this one right now, that the only one I'm using, is the, uh, the wither spawner. Um, there's like a number... Look at these guys hiding out up there. There's there's a number of, um, what do you call it? Um, like the power distribution on these depends on what's in it. And in this case, a wither spawner is 20 times more power hungry than like just a base zombie spawner. So this thing is pulling like 3200 RF per tick. Except I've got it limited down to about 500 that I'm feeding it through that node. Because you can set the... If you look at that, let's, I'll show you that real quick. Do, 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 there. Bam. So you can look at the connections. Here's the connections. This is the mob grinder connection. And you can see its output, it's pulling 1500. That's right, I limited it to 1500. So if you click on that, I set the transfer limit to 1500. It's only allowed to pull 1500 per tick. Because before it was pulling 3,200 per tick. And so this thing was working really fast, but... Um, <clears throat> the hell is... Okay. It was working really fast, but it was just draining more power than my network was making. So later on, we might be able to fix that by adding a better generator. But for now, it's producing enough. I mean, if you see, I'm already up to 2,100 or 21 skulls. So we can do seven withers this way. But, before we can do withers, we have to figure out how we're going to do withers. And in my case, we're going to do it in a box. That way, it's the easy way to do it. Withers are a pain in the butt to fight. They blow up everything. They trash your whole area. So we're going to actually make some reinforced uh, obsidian to build a box to put them in and kill them. But to do that, we need lots of steel. And so you notice I put back up my blast furnace here. And I added some preheaters to the side of it. And those are fairly easy to make. I'll show you what the recipe is there. These are the preheaters. It's just some iron sheet metal, which is just some iron plates. And then this guy is just a, a copper coil block, which we've done before, and some iron and copper and redstone. Really easy. And what happens then is you run power to them. You notice I've got some uh, HV capacitors on top. Um, which we could just replace both of those with another one of those plugs, but I had those already before we did the flux network. Um, but these are just batteries, basically. But those are attached to a flux plug back here, which you can't see in the back there, but he runs power to the two of these, which then mount on top of these and give power to this. And um, this then really makes iron or steel really fast. But it is still limited right now by how fast this stupid thing can cook coal into coal or into coke so we're going to upgrade this to the next level and to do that we need some um reinforced coke blocks i think so if we look at reinforced coke block where are you that's the reinforced blast block here it is reinforced coke block that's going to take a steel plate per to do so we need 27 steel plates which luckily i've already done so if we do steel plates, we've got seven actually, we don't have 21. Might have 21 in the compactor by now. Yeah, there we go. Because I was compacting them while we were actually doing flux networks yesterday. So that we need, but we gotta break this guy down too and get out of him 
uh, his blocks because we're going to use those to make this reinforced version. So let's break these down. Uh, let's set this to no shape. Take all of that. Oh, hey, Coke brick completed. How about that? And now if we take that, where are they? 27. And we put these there. Can we only do one at a time? Is that it? Can we do them all at the same time? We can. Okay. So there's the 27 reinforced. They've got steel plates on them. And then what we're going to do is put it back where it was. I imagine we're probably going to have to put a hopper on top of this. I haven't been able to find a real recipe, strangely. Even looking online. But if it's anything like the blast oven, then this will transform when we do... Let me get my hammer. My engineer's hammer. Whenever you're dealing with stuff within immersive engineering, you want the engineer's hammer probably. Yeah, see? No, he's going to need probably... I'm guessing he's going to need a hopper on top. This is a total guess, guys. I don't know for sure, but we're going to find out. All right. Pop him up here. I have to take that out of the way. You come out of the way. And put that guy right there. And now hit it with a hammer. No? Hmm. There's something else I'm missing. Something else I'm missing. Okay, so I think I figured it out. I think we need uh, sheet metal here, steel sheet metal. So we're gonna take these out. This <clears throat> this row here should be uh, steel sheet metal. So we're gonna need um, more steel um, plates because if we look at steel sheet metal. these guys here boom he needs uh, four of those so we need nine we need 36 plates so let's feed this 36 plates real quick into the compactor uh, let's do half of that that will give 32 33 34 and then let's time in the bottle this real fast and then he should drain himself off probably of power but he's working real quick so uh, I'll be right back as soon as this is done all right so we've got 36 sheet metal or sheet plate and then what we do is we take that we put it in this guy and go like that like that like that like that bam well okay we made four each from that that's nice it leaves left us a little extra if we need it for something else all right instead of nine we got 36 so we put these here like this. Let's see if I can get that, that block back. There we go. Like that. And now we hit it with a hammer. Bam. And now it's the advanced version. Okay. Okay. So what's coming out the back? We may have to move this around, actually. This may not work in this... Uh, in this current form. I feel like that's going to be feeding out coke there. And then these are going to be the heaters. The preheaters go on these. And you put in on the top. And uh, probably out the back is for the liquid. So let's tear this out real quick. Let me tear this out. Real fast. So I'm guessing the other way. We're probably going to need more space too because this is not going to work in this current configuration because the preheaters are going to go on the side so we're going to need it to be one, two, three, four, five. We need five space and right now we're at one, two, three, four. Yeah see we're and we're ahead of this at that point. So let me um, open up some space around here. I'll figure out where we can put this. Maybe behind it. That might be a, a decent thing. So, I'll be back. Okay. So, what I decided on is... <clears throat> excuse me. To move these completely out of here. So, I pulled them up. And I did the walls. Made it a little nicer. So, we've got more room for expansion for small machines now. 
and that'll be good going forward because we'll have a bunch of smaller single block machines we'll need. Um, but then in order to put these back down, because we will need them, because we need to up our steel production, I made a room back here. So I knocked out a bunch of spots using my hammer and I uh, put it back together, obviously, and textured it. This is behind the room where we do our mob grinding. So there's the mob grinding. There's the works in the walls. And then I'll have to put a door there and over there. But this is the room we're going to start in. And I figure we can expand that way, which is further into the island. Because that way, right over here in this corner, we hit uh, actually hit the, the ocean there. You can see right there start to come through. So... That's the wall we can't expand from. We'll expand that way or that way. But that said, we're going to start. I have here all the stuff that we had. And we're going to start by building this guy up here. Um, and we'll start by obviously getting the Coke brick oven down. And if we take this, these are the reinforced Coke bricks that we put steel on. And I think we're going to leave one space between, so we need one, two, three, four, five. So these three in a row here. And actually, no, no, this one needed this one needed a wall of sheet steel, or sheet metal steel on the back, didn't it? Okay. So I have that there. So this guy will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... And then the rest of these will fill in with this. Like so. And then we get out our hammer. Give me the hammer. There we go. And... No, wait. This also needs a hopper on the top of it, doesn't it? It does. It do. It do. Alright, so that we can put away. That we can put away. Keep that out. Put that there. Take the hammer. Whoa, pow. Boom. Advanced Coke oven. Alright. So that's our advanced Coke oven. This is going to be our liquid output here, I imagine. Um, that's the input. These are going to be for the preheaters that we're going to have to build. And then this will be the output here of Coke. And now what we're going to do next is take said tank that had all of our creosote oil in it. And we're gonna go bam, bam, bam. Put him back here, three by three. And then you and you. And then we had one more of those. Where'd it go? Uh, not, I keep going to the wrong bag. There, this guy. Put him here, like so. And then he should eject into this straight up because that's it'll eject out that side. So it should fill this tank, hopefully. Um, let's throw some coal in and we'll see if it builds up any cre creosote. So give me coal. I'm at regular coal for this. And we go here. Yeah, there we go. And we'll see as this cooks if it builds up any oil here let that run do its thing um, while that's doing its thing we have to talk about what happens when this becomes too full so what I was doing yeah it looks like it's starting to fill up past the line so what I was doing on the other side is how I solve that is I take a trash void and I take some fluid conduit right and I put the trash void say here weird little blending happening there but it is in the right spot and then you put fluid conduit on this top block, right? And you say you extract always. And what'll happen is as it fills up to this level of blocks here, it will then pour out into this. So it'll only hold two levels of blocks. It's a good thing about these, these uh, open block tanks is that when you put like extracts on them, it only extracts from the level that they're on. So this should, it's not building up any oil, which is good. It's cooking. Um, this should just fill to this these two levels of blocks, and that's probably more creosote oil than I'll ever need. Uh, so that should be good. 
and this will trash, will basically output and trash any more oil that comes in there. So we'll always keep just that much creosote oil there. So that should be that guy. Now we need to uh, deal with his input. So if we go here, and we go here, so it needs to go down into that, right? So we're going to do item conduit there. Give me item conduit. There we go. Put you down here for now. If we do item conduit, and then we tell this this is insert, not extract, right? And then we do an item conduit here. And then we're going to do one here. Well, we're not actually going to do an item conduit there. What we're going to do is we're going to put a, a uh, what do you call them? Small storage crate. That's right. That goes there. Okay. And then we open that up and we say this is extract always active. Then we can load this with coal here and it'll feed into that there. And then once we get our preheaters on and power run to them, this will be a nicely expanding or nicely burning coal oven so he's not ejecting out the front on his own but if we were to put say this in on there he would eject it into it so it has to have a container there um, but he's also not building up creosote so that tells me that it is in fact going into this so that's nice so now we need to go to the next step which is the blast furnace Okay, so the blast furnace um, will go right next door, but we need to make sure we leave room here. So this is going to be for the preheaters. So I want to skip one between maybe. So this is the preheater for this guy. So we skip this one. So this will be the preheater for that guy. So these three blocks here are the ones we're interested in. Um, and so now I need my blast blocks, my reinforced blast bricks and then these are going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six and twenty seven and then we take this hopper we put this hopper yeah and then we take hammer and badow so there we go so now we've got these two guys handled. We're going to put, like I said, other things around him. And we'll knock that wall down as we need to expand. Um, and so he's going to eject out his front, as he is doing right now. Um, but I don't want it to go in here. I want it to end up in the top of that guy. So the question is, how do I want to run this cable for that to do that? What would be the best way? Go under, come up the back of them. I'm not sure. Maybe. That might be the way we do this. Then he'll come down. Preheaters are going to go here. Input's going to go there. And he's going to shoot out here. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is hook this up to deal with... Um, to deal with um, sending the slag. Slag's a byproduct. Out and go in here. And so we do that by going U, he's extract, always active. Not that he needs it, he'll eject it out the back in his own. Um, and actually I think with these devices it's better just to have, now that I think about it, just to have the chest and then pull from the chest. So uh, what we'll do is we'll take the chest that I had I think, chest goes here like that and then we bring it around from here we extract out of the chest always active and then we bring that around this way bam 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 right bring it this way and then we're going to have another small this guy here is what we want so let me go ahead and pick him up and we're gonna put him he's the final the final pickup chest for this process, basically, or, or sorry, pickup crate. Uh, where'd he go? Because I think that's the full one. Did it get picked up by this bag? It did. Okay. Good, good, good. Just want to make sure. 
So this goes here, like that. And then he'll eject steel into him, and he'll eject slag into this guy, which will then get moved down this way and put into here. So this will have both the slag and the steel in it at the end. Um, I just want to make sure... Let me see if F7 is on. We're okay there. Okay. Uh, this guy actually needs to be insert. That way, what comes out the back comes around and goes in the front here. Like that. Rock. Rock. Okay. Um, then we put these back. No, I want tiles. Fill in the floor here real quick. That's bricks. That's circular. That is embossed. Where are the tiles? I know I've got some tiles. I just broke some. Big tile. There we go. Uh, bam. Now, to get into his top, we need to run something out of this and around to that is what we need to do. But that means it's a lot of... Hmm, trying to think of what the cleanest looking way to do this is going to be. What do we think, friends? Because I want this to look nice going forward. Um, hmm. I guess we could go straight up from him, maybe. Because he's going to eject out this way. We can go straight up and come back out that way, maybe. Or, or, or. You know what we could do is we could actually go... Easiest way would be to do... What do they call these things again? Ender chests? Now that I think about it, ender chest, um, this, one, two of these, what are we missing? We need, an, we need an oak chest, okay. Just regular chest to match that. Make a bunch of these real quick. Chuck that in there, then go back to ender chest. Ender chest, modded ender chest, where are you? Uh, right there. Bam. Alright, so now we've got two of those, and then we need some dye. Because we need to, this is going to be a different network. We're going to call this, um, let's do you, let's go you, you, and you. Pink? Alright, I'm good with that. Bam, we got six. So this is going to be the pink, pink, pink chest. So what we do is we take this guy, and we slap him right there, All right? And if we look in him, where the hell did he get raw duck from? Oh, you know what? Because there's, I didn't, I need to change this real quick. Hang on. Quick, quick, quick. Pink, pink, pink. That's what goes there. Okay. Chuck that in there for now. And then we need you to be... Get that out of there. Pink, pink, pink. All right. So now this should match that, right? Yep. Okay. So now we take this, pick him out of here, and we're gonna put him above him. That's what we're gonna do. And it'll be the same kind of deal as like insert, boom, boom. And I'll probably just do it that way so it looks the same, so it matches. Okay. Which means that we take Ender, Item Conduit, that is. We go Bonk, and we tell said Item Conduit to insert here. And then it comes over this way, bang. And then that gets the Ender Chest there. And this guy, always active extract. And that puts coal coke that comes out of there into there without running a bunch of additional annoying wires. And then at the same time, we can just chuck iron into this, right? And that'll feed down into that. It's not a ton of space, but it gives us enough space, I think. So if we take, I have this guy here. This is the one that we had from there. It might actually be better. Hmm. 
let me think for a second. Trying to think how this would be better served. Yeah, I think this is fine. This is fine like this. Take all this coal that we had from up above, right? Slap all this coal into this. Broop, and that'll start making us coal coke by the block. And then we'll take all of this iron that we had. Iron, 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 iron. And we can just chuck that right on into this. All right? Plenty. And then we can also refill this up above if we want. So he's emptying out, which means that he's cooking us steel. And then this guy here will spit out slag and steel. So I think that works. Um, the other thing we're going to do is put our preheaters back down. So we get these two preheaters for the blast furnace. And we nope, like that. And we nope, like that. So now those have... I'm going to take all of this. We need to find a home for slag on a wall, I think. When we go back upstairs, that's what we, one thing we need to do. Pick that up. Come here, you. All right, these need power now. But let's first put our preheaters for this. Let's make some preheaters for this guy. So what we do is we go into here. And we say preheater. And this is the one we want is the Coke oven preheater. This guy here. Um, and let's see. He needs two of these external heaters. So we need to make some copper wire. Not a big deal. Um, then make this one, which is the, what do they call that? External heater. Got that. Probably needed two of those though, right? Yeah. Okay. So we need another one of these. We need some more, uh, copper wire as it turns out. And so we could probably do that this way. All right. There we go. So I need to make a second one of these, then another one of these. And make this. Okay, so that's the Coke oven preheater. I'm kind of concerned what he's going to look like, though, because he goes like that. So what does he attach to that he goes like that on? This is the question. How does he, does he go on the side here? Just right here on the side? That might be what the case is. So, if we take him and go like this, slap him right there I think that's how he attaches to that guy and so what we'll need to do then is go let's see boom let's make a second one of these real quick we need two copper one two and then we can make two of these one two then we make another one of these um, we ran out of sheet metal sheet metals easy we just take some plates make some sheet metal like that and then we can go bam we got our second preheater that goes right here into this guy. And I'm wondering if straight up flux plugs will work for powering these. At flux. Um, these guys here, flux point for removing energy. Um, are we, hope we're not getting low on flux. Yep, we are. Okay, I need to go get some more flux. Well, I have two flux points. So let's see if this works real quick. I wonder if we can make one here. We can not, right? We just don't have enough flux. Yeah, okay. Well, let's see if we can power this guy first. If I put that there and I tell him Red Specs Network, this guy then gets power. Nice, okay. So then I can put that there, tell that Red Specs Network. So now he has power, so these should be causing this guy to go a lot quicker than he has been. See? That thing's moving like you can actually see it moving, where before it was just like, meh. Alright, so we need to get two more. We need to get a little bit more flux, and then we can um, power these guys up. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. I'm going to go farm some flux down at Bedrock, and I shall return. Alright, handmade couple stacks of flux that should be enough to uh, finish this off so now we need um, flux plug was it uh, we need some of these flux cores 
because we're making that's adding energy we're making this guy let's hit a on him there we go and then so that means we need a couple of these bam 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 and then we need to make one two of these i think it is yeah and then if we put these on the top of this guy like that Put this on top of this guy, like that. And then we can set the network. And set the network here. And then this now has full power. This now has full power. He should start kicking out. And you'll see we're between this and that. We should be getting tons and tons of... Coal Coke is in there. Okay. Let's see how this is going to work. He's going to fill in that. It may be that we want to change this so that he's not getting the iron. That might be what we need to do. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I think what we'll do is we'll add the iron on the other side. Right? Here and here. Give me another... Um, what do we want? Give me another crate let's make another small crate so we need a wood casing and then the crate itself we'll put the crate itself there and then we'll do this guy here then the crate goes there and then he is also always active extract i'm just worried about this backing up on cold coke and then having more cold coke than can go in so if we put the iron in here, not the steel, the iron. All right, and let me get a bit more iron. Iron. There we go. Chuck that in there. All right, so now he should feed iron to him. And he should be creating coal coke really quickly. I mean, he's already made two full blocks, which is really good if you consider it's a whole block at a time. So then he should feed cold coke into him via that, that spot there, and then he'll get the iron via that spot, and then everything will spit out here. And that's pretty good. And actually, we can do one more thing here. Let's make one more, one more chest, right? Ender chest, that is. And er, chest. So if we make this guy here, bam, he's out. Let's take this out of here. Let's break this. And this ender chest itself, then we'll get these things. Yeah, okay. Let me get regular gray, then light gray. Is that what we had? Let's try that. Gray, gray, gray. Yeah, okay. And so that will feed into the network, as you can see. Same thing with the steel. As soon as this goes away, the steel should go away. And you see other things are going into gray, gray, gray. And that's okay. So then, basically, we just got to load this with coal and load this with iron and then forget about it and the rest will go. And I put slag in the pantry, which is why the slag's going away. It's going on a wall in the pantry. But then you'll see that our steel, which is here will go up on its own. So once in a while we just load it up with stuff down there when we need and forget about it and we'll have it as we go. So that's pretty cool. So there we have our steel production dealt with. We've got a fast coke oven and a fast blast oven and they'll just be pumping away here for a while. So we'll be able to use steel whenever we need that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button down there and hit the subscribe button up there if you want to see more like this and um until next time i hope everyone has a great week and i'll talk to you later bye now